Chess friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I played with Alpha Zero with black pieces. Some of you think that Stockfish as black pieces can't defeat Alpha Zero. Well, I will eat him in my lunch burger. So, let's go. He started with d4. We have d5, c4. I played c6. In the opening of Slav defense, I always prefer you to play modern line like e3, knight here, knight f3, or bishop on this line, but here alpha 0 chooses to play c takes d5, ok, I played c takes d5, bishop comes to f4, we have knight f6. d3 by alpha, queen comes to b6, the queen is targeting the pawn, many of you play queen b3, thinking after queen takes, pawn takes, the rook gets open file, but the problem is that you doubled up your pawns, so, in this position, playing queen c2, or c1 is little bad, because the rook will get active on c-file, and black will create pressure to the queen side, so, we have knight to c3, sacrificing a pawn, queen takes b2, bishop goes to b5 for a check, knight comes to c6, knight develops on e2. Can you create pressure to the knight by playing knight e4? No, because of knight takes d5, then it will be a tricky position for black for the knight, so, I developed my bishop, snipering on the b1 square, so the rook can't get it, he played castle, we have a6, bishop back to a4, he is threatening to play g4, if bishop backs, then rook to b1, queen to a3, then rook b3 will be cruel, because every square of the queen is covered by somebody, and after g4, if he play bishop to g6, then push the pawn, after bishop takes knight takes knight takes knight, then rook b1, queen here. Rook takes pawn, black position will be totally cramped, the knight is pinned to the knight, queen will arrive to create pressure to the knight, and rook on b7 will freeze the 7th rank, so, in this position, I played b5, targeting this agent, and shockingly, alpha played g4, both of secret agents holding guns to each other, I already told you why the bishop can't run back or go to the g6 home, because of rook b1, if I shoot the bishop, then pawn takes bishop, queen here, knight takes. The queen is totally occupied by white, black do no have enough pieces to control queen side, so, back to the position, I shocked alpha 0 by playing g5, very good move, another agent comes to target the agent who targeted my agent, let's see, what will happen, if you shoot the dark square bishop, then pawn takes bishop, rook here, queen here, rook b3, the queen will get an escape place, so in this position, if he move back his bishop, then bishop takes pawn, king's structure will be damaged, so. He played bishop to e5, targeting the knight to the rook, bishop takes pawn, we have f3, bishop backs, bishop back to b3, rook slides to c8, we have bishop takes f6, pawn takes bishop, knight takes d5, targeting on this pawn, playing bishop to g7 such a bad move, because bishop on this diagonal is nutshell, ff double pawns and bishop, so, I played king c8, best move, he played rook f2. Threatening to play rook here, targeting the queen and the bishop at the same time, so, we have queen back to a3, knight takes f6, bishop to g7, knight back to h5, bishop retreats f8, knight back to g3, bishop back to d7, knight jumps into e4, I mean alpha rotates his knight all the way as a zigzag puzzle, the knight is very tricky in chess game, you should know all the pattern of a knight movement, the knight gets the center position, and he is threatening to play knight takes pawn, push the d pawn to d6. To get d4 square for the queen to target the rook, bring your rook to create pressure to the d file, and you know what, you should not move your e pawn, because it's your flexible kingside structure, if the e pawn gets moved then it will create a bad position for you. So, Never push your flexible pawn structure as known as key pawn, move your king into the safe place, so, I played h6, knight goes to g3, another knight is ready to go there, knight to a5, knight c5, bishop takes knight, pawn takes knight. White gets open file and d4 square to target this, and bring your rook to target this, you can also triple up your battery, so we have queen takes c5, knight comes to e4, queen back to b6, Queen up to d5, alpha is threatening to play rook here to target this, rook fd2 is a potential threat, so we have rook to e8, which is the best move, 
try to protect him like this, and Alpha gets a chance to play knight d6, as a 500 elo blunder he forked me up to rooks, and if you think, rook what about rook c5? Targeting the queen, before he captures the rook, but it will not help, after this, queen d4, rook e7, queen to f6, pinning the rook, and he wants to play knight takes, king here, then you will lose your rook, and after knight takes, if king here, then queen h8 will be checkmated, game will be over, so, back to the position, we have rook up to e7, knight takes rook, king takes c8, rook to d1, queen takes e3, bishop to c2, knight on b7, bishop to f5, targeting on the bishop, so, I have to capture the bishop. Queen takes bishop check, the king is exposed, no pawns to help, king up to c7, queen here, targeting on the a6 pawn, knight to c5, king to g2, king slides on b7, rook slides to c2, we have rook c7, rook on c1, a5, king h1, a4, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.